All right, so I was just gonna already put this on charge and I figured I'd go ahead and do a quick unboxing to throw on the beginning of the review like I've been doing. So, solar charger, waterproof, dustproof, shockproof, 8,000 milliamp solar charger. Uh, I'll just hold it right here nice and steady, pause the screen so you can check out everything. What I'm gonna show is it is a LiPo battery Input 2 amps, 5 volts, output 1 amp by 2 plugs, and it's 200 grams. That's the dimensions. The solar panel itself here, let's just... Alright, so it comes with a little micro USB to USB lead, and it's like 6 inches long. Uh, come on. Yeah, just throw it. Yeah, so... Okay, so it's maybe 12 inches, 15 inches. And it comes with a carabiner. Um, honestly, it doesn't feel as good of a quality carabiner as I use for my keys. It's a fair bit thinner. But it is made to go in this hole right here. So you can hang it off your bag, what have you. And there's the unit itself. It is a Z0 solar panel. The left side is the power input. Come on, focus, focus, focus. Power input. Top is a single or a double LED. I would say the single LED and one USB charging port on this side, another USB charging port, and that is it. And on the back, it tells you how much the solar charger puts out. So, it would take a very, very, very long time to charge this up by solar. That's why on the website, or on the Amazon link, it says that charging by solar is only for emergency uh, situa situations only. And let's go ahead and turn it on real fast. So you just hold down the power button. If you double tap it, it turns on the LED. If you double tap it again, it turns it off. If you double tap it again... Meh. There's an SOS mode. And then you hold the button down and it turns off. Anyways, you'll see me in a second, but it might be a week or so for me. I'm going to run this through its paces. See you in a second. Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome back to this review. Been like two seconds for you been a while for me uh like 10 hours anyways so i got to work i fully charged this up last night and i figured what the hell let's take it apart so it has eight screws in it whoops turned it on Turn off. There we go. Has eight screws in it. And we're just going to go ahead and go down through here and remove the screws. See if there's any kind of seal uh, around the battery here. And to see what kind of battery is in it. Maybe see what make and stuff like that. And see if... Uh, what the rating is that is on the battery. Alright, so there's that. Alright. Well, that's fairly easy. 
Uh, okay. Oops, sorry. I had to lift it up so I could see it. Alright, so there's a the little circuit board. The rubber gasket is the uh, yellow rubber around the device. I'll just knock all these screws out before I lose them all. Come on. Come on. There. One, two, three, four, six. And there should be one or two more on this side. There we go. Ouch. Now they really, they're not uh, captive screws, but they are pretty well captivated in there. Uh, the two batteries, it is, all right. That's pretty interesting. So we have a, uh, sorry, I'll try to keep this in frame here. So we have a very nice little PCB here that has some bodge wires going around, which is kind of amusing. Oh, no, they're not bodge wires. Those are the uh, solar panel wires. So here's your battery. Yeah, that's your solar panel. The mother, or the PCB was made by WT uh, Wheaton. It was WTH186A version 3 plus, I would guess. Um, the LED is. Eh, why did you unfocus? Nicely focused. Hold on. There we go. It is a WTH186. 86B and the battery if you can see it has two looks like two uh, kind of want to see if I can get that out hold on All right so as you can see I did remove the battery I used a little plastic knife and there is two cells that are 4,000 milliamp hour at 3.7 volts. So that means that this is wired in parallel. I, I always forget. I'm not a very big, I'm not an electrician. I'm a very, very much a hobbyist. Anyways, um, so these are wired together for capacity, not voltage. So, yeah, that's kind of cool. On this side, there is a piece of sticky tape. Oh, there we go. Uh, can you read that? There is the uh, solar panel. It is a WNS 112X58. Oh, that. <laughs> That's the size. Sorry. So it's 112 by 58 millimeters. And it is a WTH186. Yeah. That's quite nifty, I have to say. So let's put this back down on corners and press it back down in. It does still work. Go figure. I was kind of wondering why mine had a gap, eh, a gap up here, but I really can't see why unless I take out this uh, PCB, so I might just do that um, to see what I can see, and I'll tell you or show you. All right, so you have to remove the screws in the PCB before this yellow uh, rubber gasket will come out. So let's check and see what's on this PCB. I, yeah, I can't even read it. 
Uh, let's see if I can get the camera to zoom in and potentially focus. Sorry, I shake a lot. So that is an 8208A. Let me pull it out of frame and check. 8205AZ1516. And there's two of them on the input. So maybe those are regulators. Um, again, I'm not an electrician or anything, so these are just best guess. I really like how this LED is on its own little... Ah, you really can't see shit. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I really enjoy how this LED is on a uh, daughter board that is soldered in there. That's really nice. Um, so this port, okay, so Apple, uh, iPhones and stuff like that, they use resistors to identify, uh, the charge circuit if it can accept one amp, as far as I can remember. And you can see this one only has two resistors and this one has four. So I'm going to guess that that is to... Ooh, there's a button. Oh, is that the button? Yeah, it is. Sorry. Um, that is the... Uh, probably the way the iPhone can tell. Well, I can take one amp from this uh, uh, thing. You can read the numbers there. It's R100 and... 389s. I can't even see them. So I'm very impressed with this camera right now. Anyways, uh, as you can see, the main microcontroller, I'll just use this for a pointer. The main microcontroller right here, this pod, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this 14 dip socket uh, I don't know this 14 socket uh, micro doesn't have a single name on it at all but the one under it does and oh there we go R093 G5 or 6521 4C. Um, could that be the uh, uh, EEPROM? Maybe? Um, 3R8. For my best guess, that's the charge circuit to be able to put out to uh, the USBs at 1 amp at 5 volt. Uh, so maybe that's a buck converter. Uh, I really hope I'm correct or close. If I am, please let me know in the comments because I'm just... I'm using what I've learned from YouTube to put it back into YouTube. Hooray. Anyways, that's just been this part of the video. Um... I still have to use this thing for a little while and see how well it works. So, see you in a second. <laughs>